Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, of course, at the beginning of every month, there is an update from the Linux Mint team about the things going on. And today we're going to talk about the updates and the new latest bling coming to Linux Mint, which is getting closer and closer to being right around the corner. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into the April Linux Mint newsletter. So here we have May 2nd by Clem. So this is recorded. Uh, I'm recording this the day it came out. Of course, I'm going to release this video the day after it came out. So fairly new news. So um, the first thing that we see, of course, is they're working on a lot of the, the theming changes, unifying as much as they can. We talked last month about the uh, the icons and how they're switching to a different icon set that's going to be more compatible with the light theme, dark theme mode. They're going to be moving a lot of the, the theming and the settings into its own section in the settings theme panel. So these are all things. Well, the next thing they're tackling is the tool tips. They said for a while the, the basic tools and tool tips and notifications have very much been inconsistent depending on whether they came from GTK 2, 3, or the cinnamon uh, shell itself. And so... What they are doing here is they are matching your accent colors everywhere, bringing a good, solid, unified look no matter where your tooltips or your notifications are coming from. It is going to match your, uh, your theme settings, which could be good or could be bad. We'll explain here in a moment. So they've been planning on redesign for tooltips for a while. The reason is they lacked consistency. So looking around at other operating systems, Linux themes, and what was done on the web, we found that almost nobody uses the traditional yellow color anymore. We tried a few things and eventually settled on what we looks best for us. Rather than using yellow, black, or gray, we decided to make them use the accent color. We fixed inconsistency issues with various GTK versions and cinnamon. We also... Uh, took inspiration from Adweta and made our tooltips bigger and rounder with larger margins. I'm not a huge fan of this big blocky round model that's going like the new version of Nextcloud makes me want to gag, but hey, at least it's functional. It's not Google, right? Um, but you can see what the thing looks here. This is not too big and bold. I think this is a good compromise. It's not rounded, but it's not like a circle round. It's it's more of a rounded corner round. And then this is a pop up, uh, just a little tooltip notification. I think looks good. I'm thinking it might be too much accent color for the notifications, though. And uh, to kind of explain, uh, Cinnamon Notifications will also be using the accent color. And they're do using the accent color with uh, probably either a white or a black text, depending on it. Hopefully that'll change based upon uh, whether your accent color is lighter or darker. I don't know. Maybe they've tested them all. I'm not sure. I personally think this is too much. Uh, in fact, what I did when I was building my own theming system that I use is I use the I use more of a darker background with the accent color is in the text instead of the accent color is the background because as I'm thinking about what a notification would be when it pops up on your system I think it might be very distracting if a giant block the same color as your accent color appears in the corner rather than much more subtle being either darker or lighter depending on your wallpaper and having the accent color in the text. I think that'd be a better way to go. I'm not sure I agree with this, but let's go ahead and wait until it comes out unless maybe they listen and say, and enough other people bring this up and say, mm, that might be too much accent color. I think it is. I think on the tooltip it's fine. Because the purpose of a tooltip is to be seen. But the notification, if it's too distracting, it can pull you out of your work. You want it to be just distracting enough to know that it's there, but not so distracting that it completely draws your attention away from it. I'm not sure I agree with this design choice, but we'll see what happens. Um, so... Uh, as they go through, although these changes are quite small, they continue to make the desktop feel and, and look cleaner. Okay, I agree with that. And uh, in Linux Mint 21.1, efforts were made to make accent colors more special, more vibrant, but less used. This con uh, trend continues. Notification tooltips are transient elements which highlighted an event or a feature. That's why I think it's best in the tooltip, but not the notification. I think it's going to be way too distracting. That's my thought. 
but we'll see. Uh, there is an issue with Secure Boot. This is not a Linux Mint thing specifically. It is an Ubuntu issue. And so what they say here is Ubuntu's shim signed broke the compatibility of all Linux Mint and passed Ubuntu derivative ISOs with Secure Boot. So uh, they are working on this. If you are trying to install it and you have Secure Boot enabled, it may not work because of this issue. So for the time being, if you're having problems with it, go ahead and try disabling that. And we will get an update as soon as the next Secure Boot boot is out and uh this next update is out and secure boot is fixed i should say uh, if because of this you're able to uninstall it just uh, to install linux mint we recommend to disable secure boot and we are working on a fix for the isos so somebody whether it's ubuntu or linux mint or somebody will figure this out and then it's just going to be a matter of getting it all fixed up so that's good all right, so they have some new changes coming in. We've talked about this in the past, um, and I I think they might have done this, but I can't remember for sure. But they're actually talking about doing it very soon, an edge release with 5.19 kernel. I think if you're going to go edge, you should go a little bit into the 6 uh, kernel because there is some, uh, you know, 6.3 is out. Is it 6.2 or 6.3 is out? I forget. Uh, the latest kernel is already on Ubuntu. And if we're talking about an edge ISO, why go 519? I can install 519 on my current Linux Mint builds. It goes default on 21.1 is going to be 515 with the ability to easily click up to 519. If we're talking about an edge ISO, I think the edge ISO should go up into the six branch uh, because it's an edge ISO. An edge ISO um, should be a little bit higher, a little bit closer to current releases. But uh, that's what they're working on. They are working on getting Linux Mint 21.2 out, which would be pretty soon. And LMDE 6 is get set for release in June uh, on the upcoming Debian 12. So the Debian, I, oh, I'm sorry. I think the Debian 12 is coming out and set for June. LMDE 6 will be coming out very shortly after that. We're already working on it, and it's uh, becoming there. In order for all these releases to get the 21.2 changes, they should come out in order uh, with up to a month separating uh, Mint tw uh, 21.2 and LMDE 6. So pretty much once we see that LMDE, uh, excuse me, once we see the Linux Mint 21.2 come out, you can expect LMDE 6 shortly thereafter. That is going to be awesome. However, no ETAs have been decided. We talked briefly in the past about the security on Warpinator. There were some issues after some security audits, and they were working on fixing these. And uh, they have been continuing to harden it, and now they have received support for Landlock and Bubble Wrap. So they were used to guarantee the folder isolation, making Warpinator unable to write outside of its dedicated download folder. So this should fix most, if not all, of the past Warpinator security issues. This is great news as Warpinator is gaining a lot of traction on a lot of distros, a lot of other places. It is available as a flat pack to put on any distribution that supports flat pack. And there are actually some unofficial uh, Android uh, applications for it as well for you using Android phones wanting to share files with your Linux PCs. So there is the brief updates that we have here going on with the Linux Mint team. Hopefully these are great and uh, hopefully they recognize that this is too much blue. <laughs> Too much accent color on a notification. Uh, that's the thing we need to push back on this. I love that much uh, for the tool tips because that's what they're there for. Notifications, uh, again, is going to be too much. But uh, we'll see what happens when they actually come out. So with that, guys, thank you for watching. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.